The X-Ring Zero One system on a chip from Xiaomi has finally been announced and the company says it's able to achieve an Ntutu benchmark score of over 3 million. We've known that Xiaomi has been working on its own chipset designs for quite a while now. They were able to release the Surge S1 back in 2017, but that was for mid-range devices only and it didn't really make it into anything worthwhile. But this is the first time they've actually released something for the high-end market. Its X-Ring Zero One was developed using second generation three nanometer process, and its 10 CPU cores are said to rival the likes of Apple's A18 and Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite. While there doesn't seem to be anything in the X-Ring Zero One chipset that is custom designed, it shows you that ARM's off-the-shelf offerings are able to compete. So, as mentioned, this new SoC from Xiaomi has 10 CPU cores inside of it. Two of these cores are ARM Cortex-X925 Prime cores, and those are going to be clocked at 3.9 gigahertz. Then there are four CPU cores clocked at 3.4 gigahertz. Another two cores are clocked at 1.9 gigahertz. And then there are two more efficiency cores clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. There's a 16 core Immortalis G925 GPU in here as well which is said to match the kind of graphical performance that we've been seeing in the latest MediaTek Dimensity flagship chipset. Xiaomi has come out and said this new SoC has been able to reach a score of over 3 million points using the Ntutu benchmark application, although we're going to have to take their word on it for now, since there aren't any samples in the wild for us to test yet but the company is also claiming that it's pretty efficient as well, even with all those massive performance cores, which seems to be quite ambitious since it's their first high-end chip that will reach the market. We are said to expect the Xiaomi 15S Pro to be released soon, which will be the same as last year's 15 Pro, but with the X-Ring Zero One swapped in and a carbon fiber design to go alongside it. They will also be launching the Xiaomi Pad 7 Ultra with this chip as well, and it's said to be one of the company's thinnest tablets to date. News of the X-Ring Zero One and its performance is an interesting one to say the least. We've seen Samsung flounder for years to get its Exynos chipset to reach the levels that it's at today. And even then, they're still lagging behind the likes of Qualcomm with its Snapdragon product line. But I can only imagine that this will be very beneficial to both Xiaomi as well as the Android community as a whole. Competition is almost always good for the consumer, and we can only assume this will allow their phones to be slightly cheaper than its Snapdragon counterpart since they'll be paying less in licensing fees. So while both of these products have been announced this week, they won't be available for purchase until later on this month. And as of right now, we're told the company currently only has plans to launch these products in China. But that could change in the future if there is enough demand. Now, I want to hear what all of you think about this news down in the comment section below. Do you think Xiaomi was able to hit those actual benchmark numbers in real-world tests? Or do you think the official Xiaomi 15S Pro will pale in comparison to what's being hyped up right now? I appreciate you all sticking with me until the end of this video. It means a lot. And I have one last ask for you to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already.